This is our chief support mount of the evening. 10 three minute rounds for the vacant IBF International Light Heavyweight Championship. Our supervisor in charge, Tony Tiberi. Our steward in charge, Mick Collier. Our timekeeper, Nick White. And our judges at ringside, Phil Edwards, Olena Pobivailo, and Bias Galan Sandag. And our referee in charge when the bell rings, Bob Williams. This bout is promoted by Ben Shalom and Boxer, brought to you by our headline partner, Bet365, and our official partners, Integritas Property Group and Hell Energy. Brought to you live worldwide on Sky Sports and NBC's Peacock. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall. He weighed at 12 stone, seven pounds. He holds an undefeated professional record of 12 victories versus no defeats, with 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Cheshire, England, by way of Nigeria, introducing the former Nigerian super middleweight champion, Emoriche Ezra. versus no defeats with five of those wins coming my way of knockout. And he fights out of Darleston West Midlands, England. Introducing the Olympic silver medalist and one of boxing's newest superstars, ladies and gentlemen, the surgeon. First scheduled 10 rounder for Whitaker. That IBF ranking belt on the line. Bob Williams, our referee. Okay, gentlemen, obey my commands. In the event of a knockdown, the fight is standing. We'll go to the furthest neutral corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. So here we go, they scheduled for 10 rounds or fewer. Whitaker in the grey and black. Aranika in the green and white of Nigeria. Whitaker looking to try and get onto that jab immediately and then cough the back right hand, a little shake of the head there from Aranika. Whitaker just going up and down with the jab. Looking to time the right hand over the top of Aranika's jab. I don't want to speak too soon, but we potentially could see a different Ben Whitaker here. You know, I think he's annoyed that, you know, Ezra's got this opportunity from shouting his mouth off in a press, press conference. So we might see a, a little bit more on the ball, a little bit more, less, less of the showboat, and although I'm sure it's, it, it, it will come. And just looking to try and kill that right hand in around the back of the guard. On the jab, looking to set up those attacks. He's been boxing for a really long time, Whitaker. He was such a good amateur, of course. He knows that you have to earn your openings. If you just go out there bombing, then you can make life difficult for yourself. He's just looking to get on top of Aranika right from the off here, Matt, not give him any kind of encouragement and then break him down. Yeah, exactly. Backing him up there, looking for the right hand over the top of that jab. Just 
you know, put him in his box, put him in his place, take any sting out of him, any initial sting, although there hasn't been, hasn't shown too much of it already, Arunika, or he's targeting the body, but he's been quite passive here so far. But yeah, Whitaker going to look to try and break him up with the jab, body shots. I was expecting a more aggressive start from Aaron, Aaron Yiko, who's, uh, you know, we talked the talk all week. I think he's done okay, actually, in this opening round so far, Aaron Yiko. He's not been super expansive, as you say, Matt, but he's kept things nice and tight. This is an altogether different scenario for him compared to the people he's boxed previously, where he has looked to be aggressive. He has come over the top of that front foot a bit, leaned in and let both hands go. He's intelligent enough to know that if he does that against Whitaker, then, well, he will be falling right into the surgeon's scalpel. He's playing him at his own game. Here we go. And that is good to see. That is good to see. A little bit of a nod there from Whitaker almost as the first round comes to an end. He's got some confidence about him, Aranika, no question about that. This place just filling up and most people taking their seats because Whitaker is not somebody you want to miss. He has gathered that reputation very, very quickly. It's a nice jab to the body from Aranika. Again, I think he's going to look to try and set the right hand over the top off that jab to the body. Just let that right hand go there, Whitaker, off the back of the jab, just dipped the knees, shot it through nice and straight. Aaron Ikevo just dipped his own knees, let it slide over his shoulder. That's a good jab from Whitaker up from the waist. Razor sharp, it comes in and out quick, it goes back. It comes back a bit lower at occasions, but because he's got such good reactions, you know, at this level, it, it doesn't really matter. Nice right hand into the body there from Whitaker. Doubled up on the jab and then went underneath. What you like how he does it or not, when you actually break down the skills of Whitaker, his, his jab's brilliant. He, he mixes the speed up, he, he, he changes where, he, where he's hitting it, could be head, could be body. It, it, when you break it down, he's brilliant at what he does, whether, whether you like how he, how he does it or not. Well, he loves to please the crowd, Whitaker, entertain the crowd and enjoy himself. But you look at his fights and he builds into the fight. He looks to establish the jab, then put the right hand on the back of it and then bit by bit become more expansive, as he did there with those couple of combinations. He doesn't just go out there bombing, looking for that one punch finish, because, yes, that can happen sometimes, but you can never rely on that. So he does all of the spade work now. Yeah, I don't think he's a particularly, you know, heavy, concussive, one-punch power kind of guy, but he's, he's very accurate, very sharp. And he, he, you know he's gonna he walk you onto shots and that kind of that kind of power. It's a very good timing, good accuracy, spot on. Like I say, great speed, good sharpness. Closing stages around to Aranika about 30 seconds ago, just did a little bit of play acting himself, looking like he might have been stunned, swaying slightly when he wasn't. Anthony Farnell in the Aranika corner in between rounds telling him, you're doing well, you're doing really, really well. Just try and work to the body, keep things tight, keep things compact, don't give anything away. 
I don't think anyone wants to lose the first two rounds, but in when you've got the ten rounds, it's not it's not the end of the world. You can just you can pull them back. Yeah, I think from Arika's point of view, you're boxing someone who's as sharp as Ben Witzke. You probably know the first two rounds you're going to lose just to get the timing, just to get the distance, just to try and get the reading of him. Because as confident as Aranika is, and as sure of himself as he comes across as he reaches for a long right hand there, this is a big step up. And what you want in the early stages is just to get that confidence that you can handle this. Because he will have wondered on that ring walk when that bell went. He's the person that's talked himself into this situation, and you've got to be careful what you wish for when you do that. That's a good left hand to the body from Whitaker, and then again just manages to slide that right hand in around the back of the guard. But Aranika looks to try and fire back, catches him with an overhand right there. The uppercut wasn't far away from Whitaker. But Aranika looking to try and close that gap, looking to try and move in on Whitaker. Let's a right hand go again there, catches him on the shoulder. He's trying to walk in with a high guard and hit with his hands so he can get there where he needs to be to let them bend time sh big shots go. Because his physicality, he is he looks big, strong and muscular. Decent combination there for Whitaker. The final punch was the left uppercut just slightly off the straight. Didn't quite land. He, he, he threads them through nicely through the gaps. And even when he throws that left hook to the body, he really gets right round the back of the elbow. Aranika just backing up here. I wonder if the body shot has hurt him there just a few seconds beforehand because he started to retreat. I think Whitaker has sensed it. Final few seconds of the round, he's trying to tuck up on the ropes there, Aranika. And that's the first sign, I think, there that Whitaker had just got to him. Four. Into the fourth is scheduled for ten. The IBF international title at light heavyweight on the line. Ben Whitaker in the denim. Ezra Aranika in the sparkling green and white of his native Nigeria. Went to America at the age of 14 with the family, graduated high school there, then came to the UK. He's been up and down the country at times through his education, just about to complete a PhD. So he will be Dr. Aranika before too long, but he's pursued that boxing career as well. Mostly outside of the UK up until this point, but this will announce him to a few people, particularly if he can keep this going. He's losing these rounds, but he's organised. He's certainly got himself into very good shape, and he is trying to get off wherever he can. Whitaker just dipping in and out with that front foot. Aranika just flinging in a big overhand right then, another right hand into the body, and it's exactly those kinds of shots which are going to start to take a toll on Aranika, we saw one body shot hurt him towards the end of the previous round, and they're sharp, accurate punches. Good counter right hand there, and again goes downstairs. Where Aranika's coming in with the high guard, he's just taking, Ben's just taking it round the side, like the, the, the hook that we've just seen there. He's coming in with a high guard, hat, um, elbows in, but he's leaving big gaps around the side, and Ben's just touching them up, and when he brings the elbows in, he's just whacking them around the side. Into the final minute of round four. Good, lad. 
Whitaker leading off with the left hook and then just trying to sit down on the right hand a little bit. Trying to get that jab away every now and again, Aranika, but he hasn't done all that much punching in this round. I think that's fair to say. And the reason is that most of the time when he tries something, he gets caught, but not there. Nice long right hand and then the uppercut. Just caught Whitaker a glancing blow. That's what he needs to do more of, just throw more shots. If Ben's not a person that you can throw two shots at, he's gonna, he's gonna, Bob, he's gonna weave, he's gonna move back. You've got to go and go again. Yeah, it's too sharp for Whitaker to catch with singles. You have to put combinations together. Decent finish to the round there from Aranika. That'll give him some encouragement for another round that was controlled by Whitaker. This is their first fight together, Aranika and Anthony Farnell. Farnell, a really good pro himself on well, that Manchester scene in the early 2000s, particularly. Anika a bit more aggressive at the start of round five. He Felt one to the body there with the left hand of Whitaker. But as Tash has been saying, he's trying to keep that guard high. He's got nice long arms, so when he tucks up those elbows, those forearms do cover that body pretty well. And he's trying to get a few more punches off Whitaker. Just caught by a long right hand there. Time the right hand to the body nicely there, Whitaker. It could be one of those cases here, Matt, that Whitaker kind of wants Aranika to be a bit more ambitious, possibly, because when he's tucking up and looking to keep things tight the Nigerian, he's got a good solid shape to him, good right hand there from Whitaker. but from what I've seen of him, when he looks to get on the front foot and really let his hands go, that's when the technique can come apart slightly. Yeah, he's got really long arms, hasn't he, so he can block, you know, the body shots, he can block the, you know, the solar plexus and the floating rib area, it's very difficult to, although Ben has hurt him to the body, he has got round the back, he's going to have to open him up with, com with combinations of those and feints. Great shot by Whitaker. Then just dipped those knees, knees and sailed underneath the left hand from Aranika. Heading towards halfway. One right hand there from Aranika. Doubling up on that left hand to the body, you can hear it thud into the torso and rib cage of Aranika. Final few seconds of round five. Main event still to come, of course. Chris Bill and Smith up against Richard Roundpour, defending his WBO World Cruiserweight title. Second up, round six. So into the second half of the fight we go. Whitaker in the denim, Aranika in the green and white. There's that left to the body again there. I think Aranika just managed to deflect that one with the elbow. What would you like to see more of possibly from Whitaker here, Matt? He's in with somebody who has come in top condition who has come with a game plan, who knew that he was going to be up against it and that he couldn't afford to give anything away. And 
he's booking in for a long job here, Whitaker, really. Yeah, like, like I said, he's, Aaron Eaker's got those long arms, so he's, he's got a really tight defence. So I'd like to see uh, Ben open him up, be creative. You know, that, put combinations together. You're going to have to, you know, single shots, even doubles aren't really going to get through. So you've got to, you know, put four or five punch combinations together, feints, and really open this guy up and work the body. He was short with the right hand there, Aranika, and fell forward rather. And if he'd just been able to give himself a little bit of space over Whitaker, he could maybe have caught him. He does have that habit when he commits to those punches on the front foot, he comes over the top of it. Whitaker with a neat combination there, and then a nice left hand, a couple of left hands, and some very smooth upper body movement. Great body shots, great hooks to the body, he just taps it up the middle, makes him moves it, move his elbows in and just whacks it around the side. And he's taken them very well, Aranika. That doesn't necessarily mean that he'll be able to take them all night, but there's just that one instance toward the end of the fourth round, I think it was, where he backpedaled a touch. He's backed up to the ropes here, and Whitaker maybe just making a slight dent now, the right hand over the top. Heading into the final minute of round six, if he can just keep turning the screw here. I think he's getting somewhere here, Whitaker now. He definitely felt one of them body shots, I think it was. You can see Ben knows where it was that he got him, and he's aiming for it now. Switching things up. Up and down with the jab. There you go. And finishing on that left hand into the body. There was an interesting little incident at the end of the round. Just as you left us, he goes to walk him back to the corner. Seven and then Aranika, well, to use old fashioned parlance, he stuck the heat in, didn't he, Macklin? And I'm not surprised, to be honest. And Whitaker, to be fair to him, didn't complain because he knew that he was making fun of him walking him back to the corner. Aranika responded, and neither one of them had any particular problem with it. Bob Williams let it go and is now having a word. Yeah, exactly. You know, Whitaker goaded him by walking him back and. Uh, he stuck the head on him. Uh, the referee just says, come on, lads, let's calm it down. I think it's a little bit of frustration as well. Maranika, busier at the start of this round, trying to use that jab. Still keeping things nice and tight, guard up in place. Locked into that shell. Nearly timed the uppercut there, Whitaker, not quite. Them little stab the bodies that he does, they're not they're not a power shot, but they do make you move and they do make you have to reset. And they do create gaps, which is which is why he uses them, and he uses them so effectively. And this is a first ten rounder for Whitaker, and the signs at the moment are that it may well go the distance. If he's going to get a stoppage. Here, then he's going to have to just raise the temperature, turn the screw, see if he can click through the gears a bit in this round, the next round, the round after. Yeah, he might be happy enough to get a 10 rounds, though, Whitaker. Regardless, it'd still be good, though, wouldn't it, to see him just try and up it bit by bit towards the end, finish nice and strong. 
get those 10 under your belt with a really good pace, push yourself, basically. Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure he'll do that. That's a nice combination. Just sinking onto the back foot. Three crisp punches just rattled off. Well, he's going to take a point, I think, here, Bob Williams, because there was the headbutt in between rounds and then there was the elbow there. And I think he's correct there, the referee, to make that deduction. He let the headbutt go because he knew there was provocation, not that that means that you should be allowed to do that, but that elbow, as you said, Sasha, that was a little bit naughty. Left hand there from Aranika, right towards the end of the round. OK, let's go down ringside. Andy is with Crystal Palace chairman Steve Parrish. and he came forward, but he committed to it, followed it in. That was my worry for him in this fight. It was that tendency to overbalance when he goes on the attack, but he hasn't really done it all that much, and when it has happened, as I say, he's, he's doubled down on it and travelled in behind it as quick as he can. Southport here, Whitaker. He's done that a couple of times in the fight up until this point, not for any great length of time. There's the agility. Whitaker just avoiding that attack from Aranika. He looks for a right hand. I don't think he landed his. I think Whitaker's might have got through. But the Nigerian has taken what Whitaker has had to give him up until this point. six minutes away from lifting that IVF international belt which may or may not come with a top 15 ranking but it's a first title 
all the same. Aranika continues to come forward. A nice little spin of his own there towards that blue corner, away to our right-hand side. Comes in with that cross, square on, just trying to mix things up a little bit himself there. You don't want to be spinning like that, Andy. You see, you know, Deontay Wilder spin and, and get hit with a shot that he couldn't see from Zhang, so... As you say, it can be dangerous. Wilder just turning blind straight on to the fist of the Big Bang. It's not really what anybody needs to be doing. It was amazing, really, that he got back to his feet after that. A minute into round nine, and Whitaker, I think, is happy here to do the ten get the 10 rounds under his belt. It's really early, Matt, in the career still. Punching power is something that people will talk about, probably, off the back of this performance. At light heavyweight, you need to be able to crack, don't you, at the highest level. It doesn't mean you have to be able to clean everybody out, but you've got to have respectable punching power. And the thing from Whitaker, what we're seeing is that he has got respectable power. It can develop further. But at the moment, that's where it is. Yeah, I don't think Whitaker's a heavy puncher. I don't think it, that's his asset. You know, what he is, he's slick. He's got wicked reflexes. Um, very agile, you know, good shot selection. Loads of self-confidence. You know, he's not, he's not a big hitter, you can see that. But he's, uh, you know, he's hard enough to see to stick you in accuracy. Just backing Aranika up to the ropes on the far side, the left hand into the body again, but Aranika just used those ropes, came back off them. It's decent work from him. He's putting the punches together a bit more here, but just walked onto an uppercut there from Whitaker. Whitaker just tapping him on the top of the head. He needs to be careful with that. The referee could take a dim view. He's lost respect for Ezra's power and he's just waiting for him to throw the shots to create the gap to throw the to, to, to make him pay. And that's one thing that he's excellent at is making you miss and making you pay for it. Very sharp, very sharp, very accurate. Right hand just clipped with Tikka as he was pulling out. He has landed some shots in his fight, the Nigerian. Often, Whitaker has just been pulling away, pulling off the punch, so they haven't really landed too solidly. You have to give the away corner fighter credit here because, as I said previously, this is a massive, massive step up. He's handled the occasion. And it looks like he's going to go the distance here. So into the 10th and final round, these two will be called to the centre to touch gloves. Joby Clayton saying to Whitaker, before this final three minutes, you decide whether this goes the distance or not. The trainer feeling that he is in the position to close the show here if he so chooses. From what we've seen so far, I would be impressed if he manages to do that, man, if he goes after it and gets that done. Yeah, I would too. Uh, I think it'll be hard because Oriko can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. He's only got this round to get through. It'll be um, you know, a moral victory for him to see the final bell to go those 10 rounds. Dom Shield has come out there with a ticket. Leaps into a massive left hook there, Aaron. Anthony Farnell was asking for it in the corner as he was able to take a breather there, Aaron. And he duly obliged. He's controlled this fight, Whitaker, from beginning to end and he's kept the tempo at a decent level as well yeah and he's done so in second gear if that you know he's had a cancer really hasn't he looks really comfortable 
even give you, you a wink and a nod in the in-between rounds there, Andy. As your friend, though, we're great pals. Great pals. I'm all for a bit of back and forth. I'm all for it. It should never be the case that we get to say what we want to say and athletes don't have their right of reply. I have no problem with it whatsoever. I think it's the final minute here. And he's going to go ten rounds here, Whitaker. Get those under his belt. I think he was just having a little clock, a look off at the clock outside of the ring then. Aronika just leaning in, trying to land that left hand as we head into the final 30 seconds. Whitaker just sinking into those ropes. Left to the body. And he's still stuck by that, Aronika. He's in trouble here. And maybe Whitaker can finish it. He's got 15 seconds remaining. The Nigerian desperately needs to try and hold on here. There was a left to the body. And then a trio of punches up top. And one at least really got through and put a big dent in him. And he's just about going to make it through to the final bell there, Aronika. But you can see how heavy and unsteady those legs are as he walks back towards Anthony Farnell. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 full championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Judge Phil Edwards sees it 100 to 89, while judges Elena Popivailo and Bayascal and Sandog see it 99 to 90. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision and the new IBM International White Heavyweight Champion, the Surgeon Ben Whitaker! Sky Sports, feel it all.